Hey, what's up everybody? My name is King Z. Welcome back to The Empire. If this is your first time here, welcome in. I hope you enjoy your stay. I hope you enjoy the episode. And if you do, make sure to check out the rest of the series and consider subscribing. So at the very end of the last episode, I was talking about leaving this area and I kind of decided against it for, for two reasons. I rechecked this area out for the Swamplands. The Swamplands is actually a lot bigger than I thought. I upped my render distance and just saw the Plains biome, but the Plains biome is at the very corner of the swamp and it's kind of a smaller swamp towards this direction, but it's actually relatively big in this direction. So I still think this is a good spot for a keep. And then also the second reason, I couldn't really find a good spot that matched up to how good this location is. I did find a spot somewhere over there. Where I was thinking like draw bridge moat style castle but i still think this is a really good spot and once i was clearing out these trees here i found these two trees kind of sitting here along this area and i'm thinking that we could put a tower there and a tower over here and we could have a gate right about here and we could have a pathway coming up here to enter into this keep into this castle now the main idea for this entire kingdom in the taiga the mega taiga area is that this is going to be the richest kingdom in the empire this is the the kingdom that started the entire empire that rules over all the lands kind of deal and because it's so rich when they were starting out to defend their land which is in mainly the mega taiga they've set up some of these pretty large castles to defend the edges of their territory. So we're, we're right at the edge of the Mega Taiga. We're not so close to the edge, but we are next to the swamp, which I wanted to look over, like I said in the last episode. And we're probably, you know, a couple hundred blocks from the actual city that we'll eventually be building with a huge, huge castle over there. I wanna get a few practice castles in before we actually do start that one. So we'll probably start the city. We'll be building around there. We'll move along to something else. And I'm thinking before I update to 1.14, because of the way that worlds now generate, I might need to explore all of the areas that I was actually planning to build in beforehand before they actually generate in a different way and they're not those same areas anymore. So we might be heading off to do a super huge kind of traversing of the areas here to kind of map out where we want other kingdoms, other empires, or well, I guess not empires, this is going to be all one empire, where we want other kingdoms and stuff like that. So here in the next couple episodes, maybe after we finish this keep, once Optifine is ready to go, we'll be updating to 1.14. So before that comes out, I'm probably going to be scouring the lands to finalize some of the land generation so that I can make sure that some of the kingdoms that I had planned out before actually starting this series will actually have the, the the biomes that I wanted in those areas. So we might be doing some exploration here pretty soon. But yeah, I really like this area. I think it's the best area to start this keep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a lot of terraforming. I'm going to be setting up. I've already got like a small little perimeter. Like I said, I got two possible towers there, a little gatehouse kind of planned out. And then I've got this section here that I've kind of wrapped some cobble around to signify that we're going to be placing a wall around here. Nothing is really set in stone as far as what I'm planning to build because I'm not totally sure. This is actually going to be, if all goes well, the first castle, the first full castle that I will ever complete in Minecraft. So wish me luck and let's see just how well we can do here. Welcome back to Kings Valley, everybody. I've been doing a little bit of planning over there in the castle area, but I'm back here because I'm doing a little bit of resource gathering. If you can see the beacon light over here, we're not actually in our mine area. I figured since we're gonna be building up this hillside up to about that pillar area, and we're not gonna be doing any kind of redstone mechanics down here. If we do eventually do that, we can use it as well. But I figured I'd put our beacon all the way down to bedrock, and I've started mining out a section here to kind of give us some resources for the castle area because I'm kind of running low. This will give us a lot of grass, obviously, a lot of trees, a lot of stone, a lot of ores, just plenty of resources that we're going to need for later builds and obviously for this castle build. So I've been over here doing a little bit of resource gathering here and there, and I've actually decided to take our horse to and from Kings Valley because it is kind of a long trip. But if we head back over to the castle area, I'll show you guys the layout that I've got so far and we'll get going on building maybe the main gate area, possibly. I might do a little bit more planning. I'm not totally sure just yet, but I'm going to go ahead. I'll meet you guys over there and I'll show you what I've got so far. So I just wanted to show you guys from ground level what it looks like. Uh, we have the main gate here, which is going to be the gate and then these two standing towers here. I think it'll give a like a menacing look as you're coming in if you're like an enemy, which I think would be kind of a cool look. And also if like this is your, your kingdom, you know, you come in here, it's going to look really grand, really awesome coming through here. I was originally planning to take this out quite a bit further um, and also down that way, but I figured it's kind of too large for like a, a castle in this area, especially for uh, a beginning castle. Might want to start out with something a little bit smaller. I usually try to go way too big on these projects so I cut it back as much as 
I think I should within reason and I'll still have enough space to kind of work with. We'll go up on one of these towers and I'll show you like a top view of some of these areas, but I just wanted to, like I said, give you like a little walk around on the ground level. So you can see there's an area over there. There's this area over here. There is a tower that's going to be there. There's actually going to be a back gate entrance. I'm thinking over here, it might be something different. We might put a lower level down this way, but I haven't fully decided yet. And then it kind of loops around here. I'm not sure if I'm going to expand into this area. I was thinking about possibly putting another tower over there. And then I also think I might want to put another tower either here or another tower right in this section here. Another spot to uh, bow some enemies coming down the way. Let's actually take a nap real quick and then we'll head up on one of those pillars and we'll kind of get an aerial view of what's going on around here. All right. So from up here, you can kind of see the main gate how it's going to look at least from an aerial view there's just small little portion here which like i said i might want to expand it a little bit make it a little bit wider around here may, might be able to fit like some kind of cathedral or something here but the main reason i kind of cut it off there is because it's kind of a straight shot across this riverway and i, I eventually want to bring the river all the way through here leading out to the swamp and then this kind of goes all the way back that way but i want to put a bridge right around here and then you'll have another pathway coming up here and then leading down off into that area maybe even off in that area to lead to the main kingdom as well kind of try to mimic this little section over here just to kind of give me a little bit more space to work with like I said originally I had planned to bring it all the way down but it was just a little too large and I would have had to like stretch it all the way across there I think this kind of gives it like a nice shape we're gonna head over to this tower now and I'll kind of show you what it looks like from that angle so this is kind of where I want the bridge I think it'll be kind of cool you can see how tall this is gonna look right around here I might want to drop this down a little bit as well just to give this uh, this castle a bigger feel over here or I might leave it like that just because the drop down here is so large have a lot of rocks down here maybe make it look like it's a flowing river I'm not sure how I would achieve that in minecraft just yet but we might be able to make something happen there's also a lot of wolves in this area so if you guys were thinking of any names for maybe the kingdom maybe just this castle in particular there's a lot of wolves here and i was thinking maybe doing something along the lines of incorporate some wolves in the banner maybe something in the lore but again let me know what you guys think of the lore of the names and all that stuff i will definitely read all the comments but you can see this would be a possible entrance here but i'm like i said i'm thinking about maybe doing another lower branch down there i think that may be kind of cool just having one entrance into the castle but maybe having another area down here for just some more buildings, maybe a, a prepping area for battles and stuff like that. And this space right around here gives us a, a very large area to work with. And I was thinking about putting the main portion of the castle either right back here or right back in here, mainly because we have this uh, this huge cliffside over here. There's not really any room to get to it over this way. I'll probably be making this a lot steeper, having the bridge the only way to cross this way. But this is kind of the layout that I got so far. I'm going to be doing a little bit more work, like I said, trying to maybe plan some things out but I really want to get maybe the gatehouse done right over here and then possibly these two towers kind of fleshed out at least shape wise height wise stuff like that and then I'll be back with you guys to show you what I've got but like I've said previously I want to keep this area kind of like a short little three to five episode long deal so we're going to try to push this thing out as fast as possible try to build something pretty cool here welcome back been doing a lot of planning a lot of building a little bit of expanding over here I've actually made this come out a little ways I might have to move it even further possibly I'm not not totally sure I might want to bring this section out to maybe a little bit more of a 90 degree angle just to give us some more room to work with for the actual main portion of the castle I've kind of changed this up a little bit and I've also added like a little balcony that you can kind of step out onto to kind of see the the riverside I think that'd be kind of a cool little a little feature I'm not really sure what I want to do with it just yet then I've also added a lower portion down there with another tower back there I don't know how well you can actually see it from this view but we'll head down here and I'll kind of show you things from ground level I just want to give you guys like a little bird's eye view to show you that this is kind of going to be like our our great hall or maybe people come to meet the lord of the area or the king possibly comes through and maybe wants to sit and talk with his people not really sure just yet and then i have no idea what i'm going to do in here i just know that this is kind of how i want the building to be shaped i'm gonna have a courtyard over here i'm gonna have the stable over there i'm gonna have a blacksmith i think in that little corner there and then i'm probably gonna have like a little guard house here and then way back over there i'm gonna have a barracks but let's go down here and kind of check things out from the ground level and see what you guys think now, obviously, this bridge is not fully done, but I did get it in place here. So when we do have to head over to that little tower, it's a little bit easier to walk across. We don't have to go all the way down and up. So ground level, I've been doing a lot of work as far as getting these towers to the heights I think I'll want them at. Obviously, they're subject to change depending on how I want the views inside of this area and outside of this area to kind of look. When we start building some actual buildings, some of these tower heights, widths, and stuff like that might change. The exteriors of the walls might change, and possibly even the interiors of this area might change. I've already 
obviously done a little bit of expanding here and there. And I also wanted to show you how big of a section this actually is that we have to work with down here. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Maybe just a few houses, maybe something a little bit different down there. That's the barracks area, I think, because it's fairly small. I was also thinking about putting a cathedral over there, like an actual church, but I don't know how I feel about adding a church in this keep. It's more to be like a military base. So I'll have to do a little bit of research and see exactly what else I want to add in this area. This is going to be the main courtyard. Like I said, let's actually take a little quick nap. So this main courtyard area, I'm trying to do a little bit of like path planning in here to maybe add a few buildings, but I think I'm just going to scratch that idea, have like a main open courtyard for when you walk in through these doors here, you're going to see a nice open huge castle, maybe a few things over here, maybe a few stalls and stuff around here where people are trying to sell some stuff. But other than that, I think I'm just going to leave it pretty open. But now let's talk about what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to be trying to detail, flesh out these things fully. This here gatehouse was what I'm going to work on. So I'm going to try to make this thing look as finalized as possible, get the, the palette done, get the design done for what we're going to be doing in this entire area. I don't want to go like hyper detailed with it because it is the exterior of the castle, but it is a tower. So I probably will make it a little bit more grand than I will the walls, but I still want the castle in the background to kind of look pretty fancy, pretty detailed. So we'll see. I usually go overboard on details, so we'll see just how much I get done. I'm not really going to worry about the terrain too much unless it bothers me. But I think that's what I'm going to be working on now. And if everything goes well, maybe I can get to these two towers today as well and get a little bit of the wall planning done as well, at least as far as like detail wise and palette wise. But yeah, I'm going to see what I can get done here real quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Welcome back, everybody. I just want to give you all a little bit of an update and a little bit of an idea of how my process works when building these things. So you see, we have two different towers here, one taller, one shorter, one a little bit skinnier, one a little bit fatter. So originally I start out with this piece here, plain Jane stone wall, and then and I move on to this guy over here. I detail the wall to look like this section here. Give it a little bit of texture. And then I moved on to adding like these little jut out portions here. So the, the original piece is this three by three or this three wide, this three wide, and this little single portion here. I added this piece down here and over on the sides and every side except for actually, yeah, every side except for the gate side. And then from there, I went all the way to the top. Didn't really like how it was looking. So I decided to move on to this piece, kind of got this section, how I wanted it, moved all the way to the top, worked my way back down a little bit, and then brought that piece in there to make it look a little bit more defined, not so heavy on the top gives it a nice curve and a nice little bit of depth to it as well and now that I got this done what I really want to do is I want to kind of tweak this section I want to maybe move it down just a little bit so when I go back through and rework this tower uh, to look more like this tower over here I'm actually gonna drop those down a little bit and see how I actually like it and if I do like it I'll tweak that one over there because I really want to add like a window like right in that section there and that stair being there this little portion here being a little bit too tall won't really make that thing stand out so I figured if I drop it down like one or two blocks. It might give a little bit of a better look, add a little bit more detail in there, a little bit more depth to the tower build. But other than that, things are coming along great. I've been doing a lot of texture pack work. I've been building in a creative world a little bit to try to give myself a little bit of a, a texture pack world, which I'll probably show you guys either at the end of this episode or the start of next episode, because I do have an announcement to make at the end of this episode, which is gonna be really cool. But we'll wait until I'm done with these two towers and the actual gatehouse. Once I get these things done, finalized, I'm gonna move on to the actual gate portion of this. I'm gonna be making a little walkthrough up top here and then I'll just have an open wooden door with maybe some iron on it. Real simple doorway, get in and out, and it'll be actually open on both sides to give us a little bit of an easy access, easy entrance into this place. But other than that, there's not really much else to say. Hopefully I explained how my process works a little bit. Might do a time lapse in the next episode of one of these towers to kind of give you an idea of how these things are built real time. But I'm gonna get back to work and I'll bring you guys back in once this gatehouse is actually fully complete. All right, before we check out our, our fully finished gatehouse, I wanted to show you guys this world here. This is actually gonna be my my creative texture pack world where I'm going to be mixing and matching and creating my own textures and trying to make our pack look as good as possible for the empire. So we're going to try to make our world look as good as we possibly can. And doing that is going to be taking a lot of textures from other packs or even creating our own textures. I've created a few, though I have borrowed many more than I've ever created because there's a lot of really talented pack makers out there. And I'll make sure to try to link them in the description and tell you guys which textures I've actually borrowed from their packs. As they're not mine, I'm not giving you a download to my specific pack that I use. I'm just going to be giving you links to their packs and giving you a list of the things that I use in their packs. And hopefully you guys can figure it out from there. If I ever get in contact with any of those guys and they give me permission to give out my texture pack with their textures in it, then I can possibly do that. But as of yet, I'm just using my own pack and you guys can do the whole list and move things wherever you need to. So we don't have much in here. We'll hopefully have all the textures in here eventually. But as of yet, I've mainly been messing with the woods. So starting off with the dark oak, 
I haven't borrowed anything of Dark Oak minus Jermsey Boys' leaves add on here to make things look a little bit bushy. I kind of changed the trapdoor myself, so that's kind of my texture. I also made this right here, so I wanted to match this over here. I didn't want to take Jermsey Boys' Dark Oak, uh, mainly because I didn't like the color of the, the wood on the inside. I wanted this to match this very well, and his kind of turns it a little bit more, a little bit more brown, a little bit more dark brown, a little bit more amber, I would say. And I wanted to keep the kind of like palish tone of the dark oak on the interior. So I didn't borrow that. I changed this up myself. And then I've also been working on this dark oak door. It's not a finished texture just yet. I'm not too, too happy with it, but so far it's a lot better than anything else I've tried to create. So I'm kind of keeping it here, see if this will grow on me. You guys let me know what you think of this door. I'll probably keep it for a little while because texture packs are a real pain in the butt to work with. I see why not a lot of people do it and the people that do are really good at it. So <laughs> It's, uh, it's been a pain. Uh, Spruce we haven't really touched on, besides the fact that we borrowed another one of Jermsey Boys' textures. This is actually his Spruce variant for his little taste of Vastin, which he is also the creator of that pack. Other than that, everything in Spruce is the same. All the leaves are Jermsey Boys, in case you guys are wondering. Haven't messed with Acacia at all. Oak, I haven't messed with anything in here besides this door. This door is actually created by a guy named Pixel Brew. If you guys haven't checked him out, he's another talented Minecrafter. Really great builder. Same with Jermsey Boys. Same with all the guys in Vastin. Insane builders if you guys haven't checked them out and you guys are at my channel and you kind of run out of episodes make sure to check these guys out they're really awesome but his oak door is probably my favorite door and i will be using the crap out of this thing i did kind of tweak it a little bit he had this a little bit brighter here and i just darkened it up a little bit to make it look like it has a little bit of a shadow effect on the bottom but other than that this door was absolutely perfect i had to steal it had to borrow it <laughs> hopefully you don't mind pixel brew i love your oak door haven't messed with anything in the jungle or the birch wood, but I will be messing with those in the future. And this is kind of all we got so far. And just so you guys know, this is actually a 1.14 world. So we're updating to 1.14 in the next episode. So episode 12 is going to be a 1.14 world. I did check out our biomes in a creative world, uh, a recreation of our world, but I TP to a few locations to see if the biomes that I was planning to build in are still in fact there. And I really only checked one, <laughs> probably should have checked more, but I also ran around spawn and everything to see everything seemed to be generating the same way. So I'm hoping everything is in the right place. All the biomes, at least I don't really care about what the terrain looks like. I've told you guys that before we're going to be doing a lot of massive mega terrain building in this world. Obviously not this world, but in our other world. So I have no problems with the terrain. I mainly just want to see if the biomes are there and they seem to be there. So next episode we are going to be updating. But enough of this texture pack stuff. This is kind of boring for a lot of you people. I know you just kind of want to see the builds. So let's go ahead back to our world and let's check out the completed gatehouse. All right, welcome back. And here is our gatehouse. I think it came out extremely well. I love the shape. I love the height. I did tweak that section a little bit. So I did drop that little pillar section right there down a little bit to give us room for that little too tall window. And we have that window on three sides. Obviously we can't put it on the actual gate side, but it does look pretty good in my opinion. It gives a little bit of depth, a little bit of detail. I didn't go overboard on the wood. I did try this out with all stone and it just really looked flat. So I did have to add a little bit of wood in there. The roof is all wood, but I think it actually adds to the build a little bit. I have some wood beams in here to give a little bit of support, I guess. It's mainly just for another accent piece, another accent color in this, in this build. Got two windows in there. The gatehouse door came out really nice. If you guys are wondering what these are, these are actually iron blocks. So thank goodness that's mainly the reason why we have the iron farm is to be building with some iron blocks and also maybe anvils later on. This is the exterior to give you guys a little bit of a feel of how it's going to look in the future. We'll have a main gatehouse, obviously, and then the two towers with a little bit of outstretching over there. It gives it a little bit different shape on either side. Let's go ahead and head up to the top. I'll kind of show you guys the interior. It's not too much going on in there. And this is kind of like a weird little way to get in here. There's not really a good way just yet, but I just fall right in there. So got to do some texturing in here, but we can see out of either side. So it's kind of cool. A little bit of a walkway and there's no real good way to get up here. I still have not successfully done this yet. So we'll kind of see if I can and an epic fail. All right, we'll just pop out here. But yeah, so this gatehouse kind of lays out the palette for the entire castle, at least the castle wall section. I might mix it up when we get to the actual castle portion, but I really like how this came out. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think of the textures. Let me know what you think of the series as a whole, but I think that's going to be all our time for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one remember if you're brand new or you haven't already please consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it let me know what you think of the episode let me know what you think of the series and i'll see you all next time here on king z's empire